Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, today's a question about heaven. Now, firstly, if you do have a question about heaven, ghosts, spirits, angels, anything paranormal that you want me to answer as a video, please email me and just say question about heaven or question about ghosts or question about angels or whatever topic that it comes under, okay? Because I try my best to do videos that's not just based on my empirical evidence, which is what I have personally experienced over the years, but it's also based on all the research, all the training, all the other people who have experienced stuff over the years. You know, I've researched probably over 10,000 NDEs over the past 20 years since my own. So I do have a wealth of information when I talk about answers to your questions, okay? So let's get into today's. I hope I, pro I, hope I say this correctly, okay? The name is spelt A-N-U-S-H-A-K. Anushak? Anushak? They're from Singapore. Now, isn't it great that I'm now getting... Um, comments from all over the world as well so thank you so much for being here um, I, I will just pronounce it Anushak from Singapore now the question is today it relates to free will in our life paths are our life paths predestined and how does free will allow us that decision making so then we still comply with our life contracts Okay, so this is a big one because lately this has been coming up a lot, right? With all the mandates and lockdowns, etc. Did we sign up for all of this? Yes, we did. That's in our life contracts, okay? So in our life contracts, we predestined ourselves that we would go through certain good events or bad events, traumatic or extremely happy events, so we would learn our lessons. Now, if you've got a copy of my book, Spirit Guides and Life Paths Explain, I explain what our life lessons are. It's not to be rich. It's not to be able to afford a huge house or car or to jet around the world in your own private jet. That's just an added bonus of our life lessons, okay? We are put into situations, which I call opportunities, whereby we learn how to be, which are our life lessons, more generous, kind, loving, supportive, understanding, compassionate, kind, loving, and most of all, forgiveness, and all those other attributes that all equate to the word love. What is love ultimately? You know, we don't just simply love something. So you've got to look at why you love something or someone. Okay, look at all those attributes. Are they kind? Are they generous? Does it make you feel proud? Does it make you feel worthwhile, special, treasured, adored? Okay, so there's a lot of things that equate to love. Okay, now when we have predestined events like my own NDE that happened in 2001, did I write that into my life contract? I firmly believe that I did because before 2001, I was working, I was doing things in a relationship okay but it wasn't until I died and I came back that I learnt whilst I was there how to be more loving understanding compassionate kind oh do these all sound like the attributes that equal love because when we go to heaven that's what we have all unconditional love okay so I bestowed, if you want to say it that way, I bestowed on myself in my life contract that I would die 
So I would learn all these characteristics that would then be implemented into my life where I could teach others how to do it as well. Wow! So do I still have free will? Absolutely. Every day I get a choice. Will I do a reading today? Will I talk to someone today? Will I do my emails today? Will I do a live video today? Will I just do record a video that I can upload later like I'm doing now? So every day I have those choices about the work I do. But then I've also got other, like I'm a housewife. I shouldn't really call myself a housewife. I'm married to my house. But I go out shopping. I take my daughter to school. I interact with her. I speak to neighbours. I've got friends I ring. So you've got to make those decisions within time management, etc. to fit all this in to 24 hours in a day, right? So we do get options. We do get choices. And we can make decisions. But it's those things that are concreted into our life paths. Or that, should I say that we signed in our life contracts. Some of those things are concreted. Like the day I broke my neck. The day I survived a plane crash. I've got a video on my channel. Go find it. Oh my God, that was a pretty scary day. When I got diagnosed with a brain tumour. I had to be there at that exact moment to get hit with that tree so I would have an MRI that found my brain tumour so I would heal it, okay? So there are these synchronicities in place whereby we have to have certain things happen to us. Sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good. The day I got diagnosed with a brain tumour, how do you think I felt? I went into shock. I started vomiting. And I'm honest, I pooed myself pretty damn good that day because I was in shock from what happened. That was back in 2017. And then over the next two days, still shaking and quivering from the news, I said to myself, this is not going to happen. Not on my shift, not in this life. So I healed it. And I've got videos out there on how I did that. But I would never have had the opportunity to find it unless I got hit in the head with a tree. Huh. I would never have had the opportunity to talk to that person on the train that day unless I had to go to the doctor's to get my results from my MRIs. Huh. So see when we think about all these little things that happen in our lives and we think, if that didn't happen, I would never have been able to do that. So it's called perspective. When we look back, you know, we've got 2020 vision, right? But at the end of the day, if we can look back on things in our past and say, wow, thank God, that happened to me. Thank God I got hit in the head with that tree. So I got diagnosed with the brain tumour. So it detected it. Because I didn't know I had it. Thank God I survived that plane crash. So I could talk nicely to all those other people who were scared. And I gave them a little bit of peace. Thank God. I went outside today and I saw a butterfly. So now I feel better in myself that I saw a butterfly fly past. Do you think it's coincidental that we go out the moment a really wild looking bird or a butterfly flies past us? No, there are no coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. And it's when we start learning and we trust that God, heaven, angels, Whoever you want to believe in out there, they are watching us daily. They are watching us when we sleep. They are always on our side. And they allow us to make those decisions, choices, really bad mistakes that we do in our lives. Because otherwise, how do we learn our lessons ultimately? 
So free will in life parts? Yes, we do have free will to decide what we're going to do. But if there's something that is predestined, that's got to happen to us, regardless. If it doesn't happen that way, it's going to happen that way for sure. Okay? There's no getting away from those things that we do predestine ourselves. Okay? So to answer the question from Anushak from Singapore, is it predestined? I believe I wrote in my own contract that I was to die in 2001. I am pretty sure that I told myself I am going to be a far, far better person, educator, mentor and best friend after I died. I'm glad that I can laugh about it, you know. <laughs> We've got to see that funny side of life. Because ultimately, that's how we raise our vibration. We don't fear the ultimate mortality of our existence because we are eternal souls. And this roller coaster that we're going through right now, what a learning curve. How to be non judgmental, how to be more gentle, kind, and understanding to others, how to be not so accusing to others unless the people are going through those characteristics how can we ever teach somebody how to be better than who they are unless they are showing us that they can be the worst of who they can be so i hope that this has helped us all today and i hope that it's strived making you strive to be a far better person in your life and in the lives of others around you. Love you all. Stay safe. And if you do have a question for me, please email me and just say question about heaven, question about ghosts, question about anything you want, and I'll do a video about it. Thank you all for your time. Talk soon. Bye.